Mr. Sheffield. Mr. Sheffield. I told you, kids. Oh, Mr. Sheffield. Oh, look, you're wearing the new sofa and the rope. I got you for Christmas. What? What is it? I just... And he was... And I saw... Yes, no, you're hysterical. Now, don't make me slap you. I just saw Mr. Sheffield naked. It was horrible. Mm, I keep telling him to get to the gym. <laughs> I'm serious. It's like seeing your father naked. My mother should be so lucky. <laughs> Would you like a cigarette, Miss Fine? Oh, he can't even stand to be seen without a tie. Oh, this is going to put him right over the edge. You know, when I first started in service, I walked in on the Queen Mum. In the shower? On the throne. <laughs> strong enough to handle this. I don't care how many bulging muscles he's got. Well, just promise me one thing. What? Let me tell Miss Babcock. <laughs> there you go. Now, do I get some kind of guarantee with that? Yeah, I guarantee I'll be back. <laughs> Gramps, let's get a start on those stairs. I want to make it home before Letterman. <laughs> You're leaving me just like that? Don't cling. You're suffocating me. We just met. And it was nice while it lasted, but it's over. Let's not drag this out. <laughs> Dad, I'm no expert on this, but was I just dumped? Yes, son. <laughs> Welcome to the Battle of the Sexes, where they sneak up on you when you're most vulnerable, utterly humiliate you, then leave you trembling, exposed, and Naked. Yeah, okay, but... Dumped or not, did I get to first base? Well, yes. All right! <laughs> Sheffield! Ah, um, what, was there a paper this morning? Yeah, you read it at breakfast. Oh. <laughs> I have to see you a sec. Oh, I think you've seen quite enough. Mr. Sheffield, it's important. All right, all right, but please, I beg of you, just get to the point. No more long stories about your high school, family, pets. Okay, okay, I'll just stick to the bare facts. I'm sorry, I mean, it's no big thing. Oh, yeah. This isn't going well. Let me just cut to the chase. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> I'm sorry I walked in on you, but you have nothing to be ashamed of. Didn't you say the human body is a beautiful thing? Oh, now, Miss Fine, you can't go comparing me looking at these girls for an audition with you walking in on me in the shower. It's, it's entirely different. Yeah, I'm not selling tickets. Although plenty of women would pay through the nose. <laughs> Miss Fine! I'm just kidding. I didn't see anything except for your double standard. My double what? You're double standard. You have one set of rules for boys and then a whole repressed Rapunzel thing happening for the girls. <laughs> Are we back on this blasted party? Look, all I'm saying is that you need to trust Maggie as much as Brighton and knowing Brighton even more so. I trust Maggie. It's the boys I don't trust. Well, Maggie has to learn to handle 14-year-old boys, so when she grows up, she can know how to handle full-grown men, who, when you think about it, are a lot like 14-year-old boys. <laughs> well, you have a very good point. How annoying. <laughs> all right, she can go to the party, but she has to be back by 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock? It is a good time to have a good time, but not too good a time. Fine, thank you, thank you. Now, back to work. Miss Sheffield, are you ever gonna look me in the eye again? Mm -hmm. I am looking you in the eye. Mm-hmm. Look, Miss Fine, surely you can understand this whole episode has been a little embarrassing for me. Oh, don't be silly. It all happened so fast. I didn't see anything. Good. You have nothing to be embarrassed about. Believe me! <laughs>